So the game I'm playing today is called Vignettes. This is a puzzle game that involves morphing everyday household items into different objects by rotating them at a certain angle. There isn't really anything else to the game beyond that, and I'm not even sure if I would go as far as to call this a puzzle game necessarily, because it seems like this game was originally marketed as being more of an exploration game where the overall objective is not necessarily to solve puzzles, but rather experiment and discover all of the different objects that you can find in the game world, and explore all of the different environments that said objects transport you to. In other words, the game functions a lot more like a sandbox or some sort of, like, virtual toy than an actual game. Now, Vignettes was released back in 2017, so this game is not new, it has been out for a while. This was originally a mobile game that that was exclusive to iOS and Android, and it was pretty popular on those platforms. The game was eventually brought over to PC in March of 2019, and for the record, that's the version of the game I'm playing, I'm playing the PC port here. It was developed by an indie studio called Skeleton Business, and the mobile ports of the game were published by Noodle Cake Studios, who were also the publishers of Jetstream. That's not the case with the PC port, however, because the PC port was published by skeleton business themselves. So with all that out of the way, I think I'm just gonna get started immediately, because, again, Vignettes is a pretty hard game to describe without showing what the game actually looks like. But before I begin here for real, I just want to quickly apologize for uh, taking another long, unannounced break from making videos, because you guys might have noticed that it has been an entire two weeks since I've uploaded any videos whatsoever. It was another break that I decided to take intentionally, it's not because I was lazy and I didn't want to make videos, I mean, not wanting to make videos was definitely part of the reason why I took a break, but I just had to take some time for myself for a little while, because y you guys are probably already aware of the sheer insanity that's happening in the world right now. You know, we're in the middle of a massive pandemic right now, everyone's being told to self-isolate and social distance, and... It's been stressing me out a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I know it sounds kind of funny, like, yeah, the introvert who never likes going outside is getting stressed out by a freaking pandemic, but in all seriousness, though, it really has been affecting me, because this entire insanity that's happening in the world right now has been directly affecting my family. My family has had to adapt to a completely brand new way of living over the past two weeks because of this freaking virus that's been going around. As a matter of fact, I'm actually not home right now at the time I'm recording this video, and I likely won't be able to return home for at least a couple of weeks. So in other words, I have been self-isolating away from my home, and it's been... Uh, it, I haven't been in the best mindset as of late. It's been kind of taking its toll on me recently, and I decided that I just wasn't in the best mindset to be doing videos, so I decided to just take some time for myself, take care of myself for just a little while, and once I was finally in the proper mindset to start doing videos again, then I would come back to YouTube. And I have decided that I am going to try and make the most out of this self-quarantine, because I just don't want to be, you know, locked up in this room for like two entire weeks and just, you know, just, just mope, you know, just cry and pout about the fact that I won't be able to return home for the next couple of weeks, so I'm gonna try and make the most of this. I want to try and turn all of this negative energy into positive positive energy, and I feel like one of the best ways to do that is to, well, just make videos, because this is something that I do love doing, and I figured that it would also be a great way to just take my mind off of well, literally everything that's happening right now. So again, I do apologize for being gone again for the past couple of weeks, but just keep in mind though that while I am not at home right now, and I won't be able to go back home for a good while, I am okay. Don't worry about me, alright? I do not have the virus, for the record. I have been practicing social distancing myself and self-isolation, so I'm just... I, I'm alone right now, and that's exactly what I need to do right now, so... Don't worry about me, though. I am okay, and I promise that this month of April will be a lot more active than the previous month. I am going to see if I can try and get videos out a little bit more often than I normally do. I think what I'm going to be doing from now on, at least for the foreseeable future, because this might change back eventually, but 
I don't think I'm gonna be doing my walkthrough style Let's Play videos anymore. I think from now on, most of the videos that I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of months probably, or maybe even for the remainder of time, are just gonna be blind. Because honestly, doing the whole walkthrough style videos where I play through the game first and then I, I relay all the information I learned to you guys, it's tiresome. I think I do actually have a lot more fun just going into a game completely blind, like a game that I just have no clue about or know absolutely nothing about. I, I think I actually have a lot more fun doing that anyway. And I think I've forgotten just how much fun it is to actually do those kinds of videos. So for the next couple of months or so, all of the videos that I'm going to be putting out, or at least most of the videos, are going to be blind. They're not going to be my usual informative walkthrough style videos that I started doing around the beginning of 2018, I I'm basically going to be going back to my old style of commentary, where I just dive into a game that I know absolutely nothing about and just take it from there, basically. Just improvise over everything, pretty much. Because I'm tired of constantly taking all these long breaks from YouTube and not telling you guys about it, because I, ju I just want to make videos, for goodness sake, so I'm going to. Anyway, I'm sorry for that long explanation, but I really wanted to get that out of the way at the beginning of the video, because... I figured that putting this explanation at the end of the video would make it more likely for people to miss the explanation altogether, so putting it at the beginning of the video made it more likely that people would actually, you know, hear my explanation, if that makes any sense. But for now, let's just have a good time, let's just forget about the craziness that is planet Earth right now, and let's just have some fun spinning some objects around for a, a good, like, half hour or so or however long I choose to play this game for. Anyway, let's begin. Right, so this video is not going to be entirely blind though, because I have actually played this game before. I haven't played in quite a while though. I think the last time I played this game off screen was about a year ago, when it first came out on PC. So I'm gonna try and remember how exactly this game works. I do know that you can click on these letters right here, and I think you have to in order to make the game actually begin. Oh, wait a second, I just realized something. Yeah, you know what, I think I will actually do this. I'm gonna reset my save data right here. Yeah, just so that way everything won't already be unlocked and I can I can take this from the very top, basically. Okay, so let's let's try this again here. I, I think this is how this works. Oh no, we have to swipe. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, so if you left-click and drag, you can rotate the camera around, and this is important for morphing the game's logo into a different object. In this case, it's, uh... Oh god, wait, what is this object? Well, it does look like some sort of toy-like object. I actually don't remember what this one is. Oh, I see. It's an eye. It's supposed to be an eye. Okay. I get it. I get it, I actually don't remember this part of the game at all. Yeah, I do know that there are some things you can click on, and I think that's what it's it's telling me right here, right? Ah uh, yes, if we rotate this, this uh, object around, a little button that we can press, there we go, the eye pops out the other way. Here we go. So we can inspect this eye, oh god, okay. Press another button? Can we, can we open this up here? Oh, wait a second. Gotta take the locks off first. There we go. Yeah, I don't remember this at all, and I'm- I know for a fact that I've played through this section before. Okay, so what is this? Did we- did we just make, like, a telescope here? What in the world is this contraption? Oh god. Oh, it's a treasure chest. Okay, open up the chest then. Oh Jesus, okay. I think I do remember this, though. Which key do we use to unlock the chest? Oh. N none of them, apparently? Okay, well... Oh, alright, so it just opens anyway, and there's a phone inside the chest. Never mind, I guess we don't use the keys to open up the chest. Okay, whatever then. Whatever then. Yeah, so we have this little phone right here. So you left click and drag in order to rotate the objects around. And if you look at them from a certain angle, you can get them to transform into a completely different object. So that's essentially how this game play is. And it is telling you on the right side over here how exactly to uh, set up the object so that it transforms into something different. So we can uh, spin it around like this right here. It turns into what I believe is a frying pan. I mean, it definitely has a handle on it. So this little button right here you can press in order to... I, I guess view the map of the world? 
I don't know, it's kind of like a little interface that shows you which objects you've already seen, or I guess which objects you've already unlocked. And as you can see, there's multiple paths that we can take here, because depending on how we rotate this frying pan, we can actually morph it into three different objects. We haven't discovered any of those objects yet, however, and if we click on this little icon right over here, it'll show us all of the objects that we have currently discovered. So we have the frying pan and the telephone. If we flip this over, Yes, we do have a key. I don't know if we can get that key right now, though. I think we need to fill in all of the objects on this, like, uh, this little poster or picture or whatever the heck it's supposed to be, and then we'll be able to grab this key right here. Now, we can also left-click and drag to the right in order to view some of the other portraits right over here, but it's not important right now. We'll get to those in a little bit. Yeah, we can also flip these over too to reveal their key is. So I think we need to fill in the picture entirely with all the objects that we're missing. Then we'll be able to get that key. I'm pretty sure that's the significance of the keychain that we saw during the game's intro. But this little handle right here, Yes, if you click on the handle, it uh, it actually closes uh, the frying pan. You put the little lid on it. You can take the lid off, though. So, I think we can rotate it like... Okay, so, viewing it from the top doesn't work. I mean, I would think that, you know, it would create some sort of, like, magnifying glass or whatever, because that's what this looks like, but I think we can rotate it like this? Indeed. And we have a little plant, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what this is. Oh yeah, little plants. There we go. Got the leaves. You know, just, just some little stuff that sprouts out here. Okay, yeah, we can left-click it multiple times. Oh god, okay, we just blew up the plants. Alright. Was I supposed to do that? Okay, no, we can actually do it again. Alright. Yeah, I don't even remember most of these objects, actually. I mean, again, it has been quite a while since I played this. What did we create here? Is food? Can food? Oh yeah, there's definitely something in here. I mean, we can open this up. Does this, uh... Oh, I think we have to empty this, right? I, I do know that some of these toys or some of these objects are physics-based. I don't think this is one of those objects, however. So what if I were to rotate it like this? Okay, yeah, and then it turns into something different. So, this is like a little... I don't even know what this is. It's like a little suitcase of some sort. Or a traveling case. This is one of the physics-based objects, though, and I do remember this one. If you left-click multiple times, it, it throws socks into the in, into the traveling case right here. And you can throw as many socks into it as you want. If you just keep left-clicking, it just launches socks towards the, the traveling case. And if you fill it up with enough socks, the environment will change. Then you can close it, or at least you can try closing it. Yeah, and then all the socks just explode everywhere. We open it back up again. Yeah, and we just empty all the socks. Okay, I don't think that's what we're supposed to do, though. I think we want to actually throw some socks in here so that the environment changes, because you'll notice that the color palette changes, too. I think that's about as many socks as we needed, so let's just close that for now. And then I think we can rotate this so that it transforms into something different again, I believe? I think? I'm pretty sure I can make something happen here. Do I rotate it like this, perhaps? Hang on a second, let me consult the map here again, because it must- it must transform- yeah, yeah, okay, see? So, we got here from the, uh, yeah, the canned food item, so that that's what this transforms into. But there definitely is another object that we can- that we can transform into from here, and I'm trying to figure out what exactly it is. Ah, oh, here we go. It turns into a book. Indeed. I think we can open this up. Yes, and we can flip through some of the pages right here. Okay, I don't recall what the significance of this is, though. I don't know if this provides some clue is as to some of the other environments in the game. I don't believe it does. There's only like three different pages that we can sift through. Okay, well, I don't know about that. Can we morph this into something else again? I don't remember. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes, the camera. I do remember the camera, though. I remember this object. So, I believe, we click on this, there we go, take the lens out, we snap a photo. Yeah, so this is a photo of the environment that we're currently in. I'm pretty sure this is important for something a little bit later on. At least I believe it is. Hang on a second, can I take a photo of, of me here? Oh yes, indeed. Yeah, so if you point the camera towards yourself, you can actually take a picture of yourself here. As you can see, you're just a silhouette. I don't know, this is, this is effectively like a selfie of some sort. Rotate it over this way. Why don't we try this? There we go. This kind of just looks like the exact same picture. 
Okay, what if we point it upwards at the sky? Will that do anything? No, it just it just takes another picture of the environment. Okay, hang on a second. Do this. No, it just it just thinks I'm looking at the environment. Okay, well, okay, I don't want to turn this back into the book. Hang on a second. I don't know if there's anything else we can do with this. What is this other button on the side? No, it just takes another image here. Okay, that's not what I want. You consult the map again. Okay, yeah, so the camera does turn into something else. I'm trying to figure out what it is. It's not the book, though. I already have the book. But see, this is what most of the game revolves around. It just revolves around you rotating the objects around until eventually they morph into something different. And you do have to try some different angles. Because you can see this specific angle right here, if you rotate it around, then it turns back into the book. But that's not... it's not what I want. And according to this map, there is apparently some other angle that I can, uh, that I can set this to and it'll transform into something different. Oh, here we go. It did transform into something different. What is this? Like a rolled up... Oh yeah, here we go. I think this is a map. Yes, okay. This is indeed a map. Yeah, so X marks the spot. I'm trying to figure out how exactly this map works, because I do know that there is something you can do with this map here. So, if I am not mistaken, I do believe it is possible to move around on this map, or to like, draw on it somehow? I'm gonna try and see how exactly I figured that out, but... We do have another object right here. Um, this is a watch, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So if you click on it, it rotates around. I don't quite know what exactly the purpose of this is. Like, what if I try doing this? Here we go. Or what if I try just aligning it vertically like this? I have no idea. I'm not sure if this is changing anything at all. It is like a nice little watch, though, and you can definitely do something with it. See, because I, I don't exactly know what the purpose of, of some of these items are, or at least I cannot recall for the life of me. But there are certain objects in the game where you can mess around with their, with their mechanisms, but I don't exactly know what the purpose of some of these mechanisms are. Yeah, we rolled up back into the newspaper. Yeah, or the, the newspaper. Okay, yeah, so it's showing us that we did actually move somewhere. We moved down in. I think we want to try getting to the house, if I'm not mistaken. That's not where we, were, where we were supposed to go then, because we moved downwards. So, hang on a minute. I'm not sure if it may have something to do with this watch, actually. I don't quite know. I don't know, it definitely seems like it does have something to do with the watch, because is it changing every time I move the watch around? I think it is, actually. Here, let me just try something. Like, what if I, what if I tried putting this... Yeah, verti- or, or no, that's not vertically, that's horizontal. God, my, my, my synapses are already malfunctioning, so... Okay, yeah. So this does actually change the environment. So this is indeed changing something on the map, and it's changing the, uh, the environment that we're currently in. Yeah, we have nice trees here now. I want to try and getting- I want to try and get back home, though. Oh god, what did I do? Wait, 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 wait. This is not where I want to be right now. Hang on a second. How did I get back to the camera? No, 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 no. Here we go. Okay, yeah. Actually, no, it's not the watch. It's not the watch, because it's changing every time I move to a different- to a different area. So, maybe it has something to do with the way I'm, like, like, morphing this into a different object, perhaps? Wait, I don't- I don't quite understand what's happening here. What am I doing right now? I'm causing something to change on the map, but I don't- I don't quite know what exactly I'm changing here. Or how exactly I'm changing it, I should say. Okay, so it's not the watch, then. It's not the watch, because now it didn't change- it didn't change my location on the map. So how am I causing this to change then? Here, let's try let's try that configuration. Try that configuration. Okay, so it does change now. So now we're just back in the wilderness. Just not where I want to be. Oh, here we go. I somehow made it to the mountains. Yeah, I don't I don't exactly know how I'm causing this to change unless it's just completely random, which I mean it doesn't doesn't appear to be. Got that nice mountain range. It, this is also not causing the uh, objects themselves to differ either, though. Yeah, because I, I can still morph this into something else. Actually, I, I can apparently morph the uh, morph the map into something different too. But I'm trying I'm trying to figure this out because I want to see if I can actually try and find a way to get to get to the uh, to get to the house on this map here. Because I kind of feel like I'm starting to get somewhere. I'm starting to get kind of close. Here, how about I try going to the to the right? Maybe these are directions. I don't freaking know, man. But this is. 
I, I feel like I'm onto something here, though, which is why I'm, uh, spending so much time with this. I want to see if I can, I, if I can adjust this. Yeah, here we go. We're getting really close to it now. There we go. We made it home. Indeed. Okay, so now, now where are we at? We, we got to the house. So, it just looks like it loads up a different environment, though. I have no idea what the frick this environment is. What in the frick is this? I'm not even sure. It looks like some sort of tree. Okay, and then it just it then it just changes on its own. Oh, maybe it's the orientation of the map itself. Because what if I were to go go that way? Okay, no, it it doesn't change. Like if I were to move it to the left or the the right. Yeah, so I don't know what's causing this to change then. This is really confusing. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna dwell on that too much. I do want to try and make some more progress here. So this is a, a flashlight. At least I think it is. Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, so I do actually remember this. So, I believe that we need to find uh, the path through, right? Or we have to follow the path? Yeah, using the flashlight, because we're kind of just wandering through a forest, or let's just, let's pretend we're wandering through a forest. I think that's what this, this scene implies. So we just gotta follow the correct path, and eventually we'll we'll make our way to the to the buried treasure. I don't freaking know, honestly, but let's just let's just listen to the map for now, and just follow it wherever it go is, because this does seem to be leading me to somewhere. I don't remember where exactly this leads to though, but I I believe this has to end eventually, unless I'm just going around in circles here. We're gonna figure this out though. We're gonna figure this out, you and me. Oh god, are we going into the into the ocean? I thought we might have been going into the clouds for a minute. Just kind of wandering through all sorts of environment. Oh, here we go. We actually found something. Indeed. What exactly is this, I wonder? Oh god, I think we made it to a different environment, actually. I'm pretty sure that's where we are at. Oh, it transforms back into the flashlight. Okay, well, that's not quite what I want. No, no, no. I don't want you to transform back into the flashlight. No, please. Oh, here we go. Transforms into a different object. I'm not even sure what this is. Some sort of, like, staff. Some sort of, like, ancient relic. So what exactly does does this morph into? Oh, I see. How are you doing? Is there something I can do with you? No? Okay, wait. I, I think I remember this. I have to follow the pattern, right? Oh, okay. This is kind of like Simon Says right here. So I have to... Okay, this is gonna re- oh god, this is gonna require a little bit of concentration here. Because I have to remember the pattern that he's giving me. Okay, I think I remember what he said. Okay, no, that wasn't correct. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna need to concentrate on this for a little bit, so I might be- I might be a little bit silent for this. Okay, well, the good news is that he's giving me the exact same pattern that he was giving me before, so this is okay. Okay, wait, I think I got it. This is it, right? There we go. Okay, and that was- that was the last one. There was only three. And then he just swims away. Yeah, he just completely abandons his home now. Maybe this is like a key. Is this secretly a key? I don't know, but we can just kind of inspect it now. And this does actually make noise, so we could potentially, like, create some sick tunes with this, actually. I just realized. Yeah, this is, this is kind of like... This also kind of functions like a musical instrument to some degree. I like it. I'm very certain I've seen this before in the game, because, like I said, I have played this before, but I just... I don't freaking remember. I mean, the thing with the treasure map and the flashlight, I definitely recall, because I've seen that in the game before, but this Simon Says nonsense I've never seen. Okay, this I'm pretty sure I have seen, because there is something that I have to... Yeah, I have to, like, uh... I, I don't want to say pop these pimples, but that's kind of what they are. I think I just need to do this as quickly as I possibly can, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Yeah, and then you pop out, and then you just swim away. Yeah, so I think there's something very specific that we need to do in this area in order to uh, acquire a key. Actually, wait a second. I, I do want to check something here. Okay, yeah, so we are discovering the objects all the way in the third area. Oh, God. Okay, well, here's all the objects that we've acquired in this area over here. Yeah, so we haven't even been to this, like, underground area or whatever. Yeah, here's all the other items that we found currently. Yeah, so this is one of the ways we'll be able to acquire at least one of the keys. And I think this is actually one of the easier areas, if I'm not mistaken. Because I think this area in particular actually involves, like, puzzle solving. So, now I think we gotta... 
I gotta morph this into- oh yeah, here we go. This clam right here, I think we can open its mouth. Oh yeah, here we go. So I do actually remember this one, but how exactly does this play again? Okay, yeah, these guys are gonna, like, perform a concert for these people right here. I think that's what's going on. Um, oh god, I don't remember how this works, though. So, is there something I gotta do with the- oh, wait, no, 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 I remember. We have to go and recruit the, uh, the other guys as well, because, um, yeah, we have- we completed two of the puzzles right now, and because of that, there's only two guys here. There's only two of these little, uh, these little- I, I, like, like, grape people. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, but y you know what I mean. We have to find their other friends first, and I know exactly how we can find them. I have to morph this into a different object, though. We ha There's two others that we need to find, and this is not... Yeah, we, we can't actually do anything with this, or we can't complete this currently. Okay, this one right here, I believe we can find someone else, though. I think we got a... Oh, yes, I remember this. So, we have to turn all the spikes into an aqua color. Yeah, basically have these, like, pencil crayon tips that we need to turn a completely solid color. And we do that by pressing on certain spikes over here. Oh god, I don't remember how to do this. Yeah, I don't- I don't recall the exact solution for this, though. That's the only problem. I'll figure it out, though. Okay, there's- there, that's actually one side complete. Okay. And then I think... like this? Okay, yeah, actually, hang on a second. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I, th I think I understand this. Well, the keywords being I think, because I, I don't know for sure, but I may I may have stumbled upon something here. Just let me let me experiment for a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now there's just uh, two more sides that we need to take care of here. Yeah, don't mess around with the other sides because they're not important anymore. What about this? Okay, there. Okay. Okay, so I think I press on this, and then... Okay, yeah. So here's what I gotta do. I think... Press those spikes. I think what I got it. Oh wait, no, I solved it. Okay, never mind. Whatever. We got we got him. So we have to recruit him, the guy with the with the party hat. Here we go. He swims away. So he's gonna play his respective instrument in the concert later. And then finally, we got this. Uh, I think this is meant to be like coral or something. We have to make all the flowers bloom, if I'm not mistaken. Oh god, do we have to do this in a very specific order? Uh, wait, how do I- how do I do this again? Like that? Okay, okay, wait a second. I think I'm getting the pattern down. If there even is a pattern. Oh, wait a second. What? what wait. Is that not the right one? Wait, did it change all of a sudden? Oh wait, no, because I'm not doing it in the right order. God, oh my god. Okay, hang on a second. My brain right now. My brain. I mean, I have already completed this puzzle before. I know for a fact I have, so I'm just- yeah, okay, it's just, I have to do it in the right order. Okay, but that's more like a trial and error puzzle, though, because you don't, you don't know for, for absolute sure what the correct order is. Whatever. It's, it's all fine and good either way. So let's just go back to the, to the oyster now, if we can find it again. Oh god, that's not how I found it. This just looks like a pig Noah's. Am I the only one who sees that? I hope not. Here we go, we got back to the clam. There we are. So now we have the four other guys now, right? So let's just, uh, bring out the tongue for them. There we go. Guy with the party hat and guy with the flower. So now they're gonna play their instruments. Let's- let's just listen to this here. I think we have to click on this little orb in the center. There we go. Yeah, so then it just brings, uh, whatever the heck these objects are supposed to be. And there we go, the crowd's just bobbing their head along to the- to the beat of the- of the sick two wins. And I don't believe there's anything else that we have to do here, so I think- I think that's it, actually. Yeah, here we go. So, we click on this eye. Oh god, what is this? Okay, wait, I actually don't remember what any of this stuff is. That's a skeleton. That's... a planet of some sort, or it looks like an atom. That's like a kunai? What in the world is- what in the world is this? What is the significance of all this? I don't remember any of this crap. What is this? Oh, hi. So is this meant to be like... Oh god, I don't even know. It's showing me that I can click on it, though. Except clicking on it doesn't actually appear to do anything. So... I'm assuming this is like, uh... I don't know, I, I definitely unlocked something. I completed some sort of, like, achievement. I, I'm very certain. Okay, so... In that case... Yeah, this entire area is basically done then, so we're- we've 100%ed it. We have all the objects, which means we can get this key now. There we go. The key unlocks. We can just grab it and take it with us. There we go. I imagine that key will probably be important for something later. 
I just don't know what, though. Yeah, so there's eight areas here in total, so that's one of the areas completed already. So, what if we go back to this treasure chest? Because I also noticed that the icon for this changed as well. Oh, there we go. So now we're gonna use that key? No, the, it's the wrong key, because it didn't open up the chest. Or did it? Unless it just takes us to a different area. Oh, I see. So, can we actually select which area we can go to? Ah, uh, okay. I think I'm starting to remember now, because I did actually see this clan before when I loaded up my old save file. Okay, hang on a second. I'm starting to get it now. I'm getting it. Okay, so this this just allows me to war up to areas that I've already beaten, basically. Okay, well, in that case, how about we go back over here for now, and let's see if I can morph this into something new. Ah, here we are. Yes, I morphed, I morphed the phone into a bowl. Can I do anything with this bowl? No, I can't. But I can morph it into a lampshade. Okay, cool. And actually, it looks like there's something I can do with it. Yes, I can I can rotate the lampshade. Okay, that doesn't seem particularly useful, though. Now, what if I what if I turn this into a fan? I can blow the fan around. Oh, I got an achievement. Petals. Okay, well, what does this eye do? Ah, okay. Yeah, so this must be the achievement list, then. Because I've definitely already unlocked this, uh, this other one with the concert. Because I'm pretty sure I got an achievement for that, actually. Yeah, because I already had about three of the achievements in the game unlocked before I did this video today. So, this must be something that I didn't discover yet, because I didn't know this was a thing. Didn't know that this would blow, like, the, the petals around. Okay, I don't want to go back to the lampshade. Hang on a second. Uh, what else can you, ro can you uh, like, morph into? Oh god, did I morph you into something else? Oh, you- well, you just morphed back into the pan. That's not what I want. Actually, what if I put the lid on? Then what can I, like, turn you into? What can I turn you into then? Ah, okay, I remember this, the toaster. Yes. And I remember this, because you can also make the toaster- You can make the bread pop out of the toaster. There we go. Try this. And then boom! There we go. Just gets launched into the air. And actually, it does look like you can do something with the bread, too. So I want to- I want to test something out here. It did look like you could interact with the bread, actually, so... Oh, okay, well... I don't know, I thought something might have happened. Well, we have the TV, though. I do remember this TV, so some of these buttons do something. What exactly is that? Oh, God. Change the TV... Oh, God. Okay, wait, what did I do now? Okay, did I get another achievement? Or I, or I assume this must have been another achievement. I did something with the TV. Oh, wait. What in the world? Oh, okay. We created a, a hallway of infinite TVs. That's what happened. I think this is actually another achievement that I got before, right? Okay, yeah. I just went and checked very quickly, and that actually was another achievement that I could unlock. It's called Tunnel Vision. Tune into the secret channel, and uh, apparently that was the secret channel. Okay, well, this is a table. This is just a... Oh, no. That's not a table. This is a butterfly. Oh, I see. Okay, hang on a second. Let me, let me, oh god. What is going on with this perspective? There we go. Look at this butterfly right here. Is there a way that I can free this butterfly at all? Or is it even alive? I don't know. <laughs> Let's try rotating this here just to see what it turns into. No, I don't want it to turn back into the TV. Does this even turn into anything? Okay, yeah, it, it does. I just need to figure out what. Oh wait, the butterfly's gone. The butterfly's gone. What, well, what in the world? Whoa, hang on a second. When I... Okay. So when I view the table at a certain angle, whatever's inside of it will change suddenly. Okay, I can actually free this one, though. I can free that butterfly. Okay, goodbye. Now what? Where, where the heck am I now? Oh god. I don't even... I don't even know anymore. I haven't... I've never even seen this part of the game before. Does this lead to anywhere? Yeah, it still does. Why did the color palette suddenly change, though? Because now I can't change this back into the TV. It doesn't see him. Oh yeah, we're in a different area. What is this? Oh, this requires... This is like a lock of some sort. Oh, is this like a jar of honey or something? Are those bees on the side? I don't freaking know. Turn this into something else. I'm, I'm just confused at this point. Here, what is this? Oh god. Is this a... I, I don't know. Is this a gyroscope? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, no, this is like... What what are these things called again? I don't even remember, but it's causing the colors to change. Everything's getting brighter. Why is that? Okay, I did something that I assume was probably good, but I don't know for sure. Okay, this turned into... Oh god, what did... Oh, it turned into a bust. 
Oh yeah, it turned into a bus. Okay, hi. How are you doing? I don't know who you are, but uh, turn you into something else, like your head, perhaps? Okay, yeah, here we go. Oh, I got a nice little flower. Okay, hang on a second. I want to rotate this. Can I do anything with this flower? At all? Oh, you're kind of swaying around a little bit, I've noticed. Oh yeah, you definitely are. You seem to be a little physics-based yourself. So what if I... What if I view this from the top? Will that do anything? No? Doesn't seem like I can just take this, like, lid off of it. Yeah, the protective glass casing. Okay, so this is... Okay, this is a microscope. This is a microscope right here. Oh god, we can look inside the microscope. Okay, well, what are what are we looking at here exactly? I see something. Oh god, they're multiplying. Okay, this is this is getting a little bit too close to reality right now. Please, I I'm not exactly a fan of this. Oh god. Okay, wait. What what do we do about this here? I assume this is gonna do something. Do I just need to like make you guys multiply enough times? I I don't quite know what I'm doing here exactly. Like I know that I'm I'm making you guys. Oh wait, am I making you guys larger? I think I I think so. I, I can't freaking tell what's going on. Do I have to make you guys, like, combine with each other? I don't understand. It really does feel like I'm just clicking on stuff and, like, making no progress whatsoever in doing so. Oh, wait a minute. I can move the microscope around. Okay, I can move it left and right. Oh, God. Okay. Hi. You got some cells inside of you. What is that? Wait, hang on a second. Can I... Ooh, okay. Whoa, alright, alright. You're vibrating a lot. Um... <laughs> wait, it almost looks like I'm extracting the blood cells out of them, or... Like... Wait, is this what I'm supposed to be doing right now? Um... I'm very confused about this, because I've never seen this in the game before, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna assume that this is probably what I'm supposed to do, but I can't tell for sure. Do I have to extract these cells from you? I don't know. But it's worth a shot, because I'm just- I'm very curious. I'm just very curious about this. There, did that do anything? At all? I don't know. I can't tell if this is a bug or a feature. You good now? Oh, Jesus, okay. And now we're just back to this. Yeah, I can't- I can't quite tell what I'm doing here. This is a little confusing. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I think we're zooming in even closer. I think that's what's happening right now. They look like rubies. Like, these these are rubies right here, and then there's a sapphire in the middle. Oh, and I just took it? Okay. Well, fine then. And just rotate these things around. Okay, this is interesting, actually. Can we zoom in further? No? Ah, oh, that's a little unfortunate. Okay, well, I did, I did grab something. I grabbed something. What did I grab? Can I view what I grabbed at all? No, it doesn't seem like I, I can. Yeah, and it doesn't seem like the microscope actually turns into anything else, which means we're gonna have to go back to the, uh, to the other thing here. Hang on a second. Okay, well, I couldn't quite figure out how to escape from the microscope, so you know what? How about we try going back to the, to the toaster for a minute? I, want, I know for a fact I can do something with this bread. Hang on a second. Pop the bread out and just... Oh, okay, yeah, I can, I can eat the bread. Is there something special that I get for eating all the loaves of bread entirely? Or the toast? I have no freaking idea, but do you... Okay, yeah, so this... This canned food does turn into another object, actually. So hang on a second. There may be something else that I can turn this into. Yeah, there's definitely something else I can turn it into, but the question is, what? Hang on a second. There's a little purple thing that seems to be rotating in there. Can I... Can I get that out? Is there a way that I can make you roll out of that? No, it doesn't seem like there is, is there? Yeah, because the food is not gonna fall out if I hold it upside down. It almost seems like it's programmed not to. Okay, so the bowl does turn into something something different, though. I'm gonna try and figure out what exactly it is. Because if I look at the map right here... Oh, the lampshade also turns into three different objects. This is very curious indeed. What does it turn into here? Oh, a light bulb. Ooh, okay, yeah. So I can turn that off. It changes the palette color again. Do I want to keep that on, though? There's also this palette color, too. Okay, so the light bulb... 
doesn't transform into anything else, it seems. I guess that's one of the ways I can I can progress to a different area, though. I don't think that's what I want right now, though, because there's I think there's only two other objects that I need to find in this in this like first world right here. And I can find them all by transforming the lampshade into something. Actually, no, the fan also turns into a different object too that I haven't discovered. Okay, this is getting this is getting just a little bit complicated now. So then what can I what can I turn you into? Oh, here we go. I turned you into I don't know, it kind of just looks like a piece of paper. Oh god, I can crumple it up though. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I turned it into a boat. Oh, okay. We're just gonna go sailing then? No. It's telling it's telling me that the <laughs> Telling me that the piece of paper can also turn into something different, too. But I'm assuming it's probably the boat, though, right? That it turns into? No? Okay, well, this... This must give me something, then. What else does this give me? Oh, a boot. Okay. I got a boot. Looks like it's filled with something. Like cotton or something. I can't even... I, I, what, what would this be useful for? Hang on a second. Ooh. Oh. I see. So it's like a little... Did I just see a fish fall out of that? <laughs> What in the world is going on? Yeah, this is, a, this is just like a thing where... Yeah. It's like you, you carry water in it. You know, like this is something that you would carry when you're out on like a, a long hiking trip or something. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a lot of water coming out of that. Hang on a second. Yeah, there's a little fish that falls out of it though. Do I have to catch that fish somehow? I'm not entirely sure. Let me, let me try. Oh, no, it doesn't seem like I can click on it actually. Or can I? Can I? Also, there's a lot of fish stuck in there. Okay, yeah, it doesn't seem like I can. It's kind of interesting, though. Yeah, if I just hold it upside down and there's just water that flies out of it. Okay, well, that's interesting and all. What is this object? Hello? Oh, it's a... Oh, I see. It's like a Swiss Army knife? That's what it looks like. This just turns into an object that we've already seen, though. I don't think that's what I want. I think I would like to actually go back to the other object. Oh, not that one. Not that one. Go back to the water. Okay, yeah, so this can- Oh, binoculars! Okay, it did actually transform into something else. Well, that's- that's all the objects we have, uh, to find in this scene, then. We have everything. Yeah. Binoculars were the last one, so give me that key, then. In that case. Give me this key. There we go. Two keys. Achievement unlocked! Road trip! Yeah, exactly! That's what I thought. But hang on a second. I want to see if I can- if I can, like, see out of these binoculars. Oh, I can. Oh, we can see the moon. Oh god, a rocket ship orbiting the moon? Hello. How are you doing? Can I interact with you at all? No, but you're putting you're putting a flag on the moon. So this is basically Apollo 11 then. Is that what this is meant to be a reference to? The little flag on the moon though. Can I can I zoom in on that? No. Can I even move the binoculars around at all? Doesn't seem like I can. No, it 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 doesn't. There's this is like the only scene I can view. Well, that's a little unfortunate. Can I see at the left side? No, I can only see out of the right side. Okay, well that's that's a little bit unfortunate then. Doesn't seem like there's anything else we can do with that. But that's all the objects that we uh, that we require over here. So in that case, use this key then. What does that unlock? Let's see. Open up the chest again. Okay, so yeah, we can start back from this area now, I guess. But we have everything there. So I, I want to still try and figure out what the frig this bowl turns into. Because it still seems like I'm missing stuff here in this first area. Also, what does the lamp turn into? Like, I'm just, I'm just so confusing. Like, what else does the lamp turn into, I should be saying. I mean, what is what is this area right here? Oh god, okay, wait. I can go back to the lamp, but, but we just have a different, uh... Yeah, we have a different color palette. So wait, so wait, this might actually take me to something else. Ah, okay. That's what it turns into, but this is a different area, though. Oh, okay, were there pills that just fell out of that? Is that what I saw there? This is a pill case, uh, or pill caddy? What, what do you even call those? Oh god, that's a fire hydrant, okay. It's just spewing out water everywhere. Is because it's upside down? Oh no, it spews water whenever I rotate it. Okay, I get it. Or whenever I click on it as well. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I don't know if that's useful for anything in particular, but it's neat. And I mean, that, that's what counts at the end of the day, right? It's just in need. Oh my god, dude. Look at this. Okay, what do you turn into, Mr. Fire Hydrant? What is this object? Uh, trash can? Okay, I think this is a trash can. Take the lid off of it. Uh oh, god. Wait, 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 wait. Is there something inside of this? Hang on. Hello? Oh, there is someone inside of this. Hello. Look at these eyes. 
these eyes just darting around. Okay, so is there any way that I can't even get you out of there? Well, I guess I'll never know. Okay, what is this? A cat? Cat on the... Wait, what, what are you lying down on? What is this? Oh no, it's just a cat. Like, the rest of your body is a silhouette. Oh, okay. Oh, and he he meows whenever I whenever I click on him. Okay, well, yeah, he his eyes are just following me around too. That's a little bit creepy. Um, okay, so what can I turn you into then? If I can turn you into anything. Oh, I turn you into something. Ah, oh, okay. Well, there's the moon that we saw earlier with the rocket that landed upside down. Okay, you just crash landed into the moon, so how are you gonna get back then? How exactly does this even work? They- these guys crash landed into the moon. They're stranded there for the rest of their lives. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, there we go. Just put that ladder back up there so that- that way you can't- you can't escape. Yeah, this guy right here just waves at me whenever I click on him. Here, just put that ladder up like that. I don't know if that does anything. Okay, I did get an achievement. Apollo 11. Wow, okay, so I was right. This is literally what this is a reference to. Wait. Go to the eye. Yeah, so that's an achievement. Okay, so... I, I did actually open this a little while ago just to see what, 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 what was inside, like to give me a clue. And I... Yeah, I do recognize it now, actually. Okay. Interesting. So the moon does transform into something. And it transforms into... A lantern? Interesting. Doesn't seem like I can interact with the lantern, unfortunately. But can I transform it into something new? A new sign of, a new sort of object. I mean, it's giving off light, though, which is pretty cool. Uh, can I turn you into anything? Okay, yeah, I did turn you into a speaker. Why are you flashing, though? Oh, whoa. Wait a second, you stopped flashing. Why did you stop flashing? Did I- did I click on something accidentally? I don't quite understand what is happening right now. Okay, yeah, you're- you're flashing again. Why- why are you doing that? Is there a way that I can stop you? Because I, I did apparently find a way to stop you before. And then what did I- what did I transform this into? Uh... Oh, Jesus, okay. Is this like another... Like a light switch of some sort? I am so confused, dude. Oh, it's an alarm clock! Okay. I didn't notice that at first- Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Here we go. I had to rotate it a little bit more- Yeah, 7. 7 a.m. At least, I assume that's 7 a.m. Okay. Well, in that case, we found all the objects in this location, so we get another key from that. Indeed. Okay, that's the third key. Chill night. God, I'm unlocking a lot of achievements right now, man. Okay, well, achievement, get out of my way, please, so I can click on, on this right here. Actually, is that everything? Well, I mean, we can still open up this chest anyway, just to see what it gives us. There we go. That's the third key. And this gives us... Yeah, we just go back to the fire hydrant. So we are still missing something with this bowl, though. I cannot figure out what exactly. Like, I'm so confused by this freaking bowl, man. What if I rotated you the other way? Oh, okay, something changes if I rotate whatever this is the other way. Hang on a second, we have a completely different color scheme now. Yeah, we have a- we have a different color scheme. Okay, so what- what are you gonna change into if you even change into anything? And you do definitely change into something else. Oh, here we go. Wait, what did I find? Uh, oh. Okay, well, there was another object that I saw before that- that just, like, like, disappeared from me for a minute. Couldn't tell if that was the bust or- okay, it might have actually been the bust. Is, is it, like, a dusty version of it? I don't know, but what is this microscope with all the cobwebs on it? What is this? Oh, God. Oh, there's Ayas. Why are there Ayas? Oh, no. Oh, what is this creature? Hi, how are you doing? I mean, you don't- oh, you- I mean, you don't- you don't look too terrifying. You- you actually look a little bit cute. You do look kinda cute. You have some really long tentacles on you, though. I'm not entirely sure if I'm, uh, okay with that. Is there a way that I can zoom you in? No? Okay. Well, Joseph- oh, Joseph is a spider. I got another achievement. Okay, Joseph the spider. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because he has- he has legs. I- <laughs> It didn't even dawn on me that he was a spider. Yeah, I can see him crawling around. Yeah, how are you doing? I guess you just made your home here, because someone someone left this this microscope alone for a pretty long time. Someone just abandoned it. Well, alrighty then. Yeah, Joseph. Joseph the spider. Well, it would appear as though Joseph has turned this dusty old microscope into his home. Also, what is he doing? It looks like he's, like he's dancing or something, like he's doing the slide. Look at this. 
Look at these dance moves, for goodness sakes. Joseph's getting down right now. Okay, but I need to I need to figure out where the hell to go from here, because I, I don't know anymore. I'm confused. Ah, uh, here we go. I turned it back into what it was before. Okay, so I, I did see another object, though, that I just ended up going past. I want to try and figure out what it was. Oh, I see what I went past. I also went past another version of the flower, but it, it withered. Like it, like it, it died. Oh no. <laughs> Gee, is, I, I don't think I like this version of, uh... I, I don't think I like this alternate timeline that we've somehow found ourselves in. So what is this thing that this, does this thing like control the flow of time? Do we just time travel? I don't understand anything anymore. Ooh, okay. Wait, I found something else. Ooh, an old clock? Oh god, we are traveling through time. What is this? Everything just changed color again. Oh my god, what is even happening right now? Okay, well, we found all the objects for this location now. Yeah, that's it. We have another key. Back to the future. Okay, so that's like the time traveling, like, like, world or whatever. Well, alright. Go back to the chest then. Open it, open it up with this key now. Holy crap, man. That was just, that was confusing. That was very confusing. Yeah, well, look at all the stuff we have here now. And I still don't know what that freaking bowl does. Oh, here we go. I figured out what the, uh, what the canned, uh, food turns into. It turned into an hourglass. Oh, uh, okay, just let the sand fall down. Also, the colors are changing again. What in the world, man? I don't even know what's happening at this point. What do we do? Oh, we turned this into something. Oh, is this some sort of puzzle? I know, but we can rotate these jewels here. And this looks suspiciously like one of the, like, sapphires that we picked up during one of the microscope sections. I don't know about that. Whoa, hello? Turn into a crown? Oh god, it's causing the background to change when I rotate this. I don't know how I feel about this one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, where are we at right now? Ooh, we can cause the, uh, colors to change on this. Or we can cause the color of the jewels. Okay, is it- I'm gonna assume it's supposed to be blue? Because it fits with the color palette. Oh, I don't know about this one, guys. I don't freaking know about this one. It's like a kaleidoscope. What do, what do I have here? What is this? Hello? Oh, okay, I just shattered the kaleidoscope. Was I supposed to do that? Yeah, I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. This is just gonna turn back into the TV. Oh yeah, it does turn- it does just turn back to the TV. Okay. I'm gonna assume I was not supposed to do that. Actually, wait. I never noticed that I can click the buttons on this telephone here. Lightning? Sun? Leaves? Ocean waves? A dog's paw? Air, I think? Fire? Rain? Music? Stars? What does all this mean? Like, can I call someone on this? Hello? No. Nobody picked up. Well, this is just completely weird. I don't even know about this one. Okay, this bowl is actually starting to drive me crazy. Oh, wait, I found it! I found the other object. It's a guitar. Can I- Oh my god, I can strum this. I can actually strum it. Oh my god, yes, I can actually strum it, and the, the pitch of the notes depends on where my cursor is on the strings. Like, if I place it really high up, then it makes it makes a really high-pitched noise, but then when I place it really low, then, yeah, it's a lot lower-pitched. Oh my goodness. Listen to the sounds of my beautiful music. This, this right here is what art is all about. Oh my goodness, okay, well, I mean, I think that's every single object in this location, actually, is it? Yeah, it is. The guitar was the last one that I needed, which means that's another key. I just have the plain old boring key now, though. Daily routine, huh? Well, alright. And actually, I, I did fill something in on one of the other portraits, didn't I? Yeah, this one right here. Okay, so this portrait right here I'm very curious about, because there's only two objects in this entire portrait. So what would this one be all about, and how exactly would I get to it? Yeah, there's still another another area that I'm just missing entirely. Alright, well, let's use this key then to unlock, unlock the, uh... Unlock the damn chest now. Wh what is in here? What did it just add? Ooh, it added a flower. Okay, yeah, it added my added my plants, my potted plants. I'm just curious, can I change the treasure chest into into a different object at all? I don't know, I'm just kind of wondering if there's some sort of like secret here on this title screen. Can I can I like morph this into something else? Uh, it doesn't seem like I can. No. And yeah, when I click on the eye, it just opens up the chest. 
which is not what I want. All right, well, anyway, I think you guys get the entire gist of the game, so you know what I think I'm gonna do for now? I'm gonna leave things here, because I don't think I'm interested in seeing the, the rest of this game, at least for now. But there you go, that is vignettes, and I made a lot more progress in this video than I thought I would, honestly. I definitely got to see a lot more objects that I've never seen in the game before, because admittedly, when I first picked this game up a few months ago, or like an entire year ago, I, I only played it for about a half hour. And I think the reason why I didn't spend more time with it was because I didn't want to spoil the remainder of the game for myself before I started uh, recording a video of it. Because I, I had originally planned on doing a video on vignettes all the way back in June of 2019, but that video never surfaced though, and I can't really provide you guys with an explanation as to why it took me so long to finally get around to playing the game, because in all honesty, I, I really don't know why it took me so long. <laughs> Again, it could be just another case of me getting distracted by all the other stuff that was coming out at the time, or I saw something a lot more interesting that I wanted to do a video on, and then I just ended up forgetting about this game for a while. But I'm glad that I did finally get around to playing it, and I'm also glad that I didn't, uh, spoil any other parts of the game for myself before finally recording it, because I got to discover a lot of things that I've never seen before, that I had no idea were even in the game. But yeah, this was fun. This was very whimsical indeed. It's like a nice little sandbox that you can just play around in and try to discover all of the hidden objects. And I also like that there's a little, like, mini-map, I guess you could call it, which shows you the specific types of objects that certain items transform into. And I also like that it shows you which items you've already discovered. So that way you can keep track of which objects you've already seen. And I guess the entire point is to just try and find every single object in the game. And I would say that we've made some pretty good progress on that front, in this video because I think we've already discovered about half the objects in the entire game. So I'm pretty sure that, achievements aside, we've completed at least 50% of the game in this video. I mean, I wasn't really expecting this to be a massive game because, again, this is just a, a little indie game that's being developed by a small indie studio. And by the way, speaking of the game's developers, because I wanted to mention this at the beginning of the video but I forgot to, the person who composed the music for vignettes was David Kanaga. And David Kanaga was also the composer for Proteus. And I think he was also the co-developer of Proteus as well, because, I mean, the creation of Proteus is credited to both Ed Key and David Kanaga, so I think he had a much bigger role in working on Proteus than just composing the music for it, but yeah, I just thought that was interesting. He also composed the music for Vignettes. And for the record, Proteus is an indie game that I covered on the channel quite a few years ago, which is why I was surprised to see David Kanaga's name pop up in the credits for Vignettes. David Kanaga has definitely worked on a lot Lot more stuff than just Proteus, and I might try to cover some of the other games that he was involved in, or like he was involved in the creation of to some degree, uh, maybe later on in the future. But anyway, I'm starting to get off topic here a little bit, so I think I am going to end the video for now, guys. Vignettes is a great game. It's so simple on the surface, yet it's so elegant in its style, and it's actually pretty smart with its perspective shifting as well. And David Kanaga's music is superb as always. I expect expected no less from the composer of Proteus. Vignettes is exactly the kind of relaxing escapism that we really desperately need in these dark and trying times. So anyway, with all that being said, if you guys want to purchase the game, the link's in the description. If you want to get it on either iOS or Android or PC, the game is available on both Steam and itch.io, and if you purchase the game on itch.io in particular, you will receive some additional bonus content, because I think I think the itch.io version of this game contains some additional mini-games that you can play, or something along the lines of that. I don't have the itch.io version, this is the Steam version that I am playing right here, so there are no mini-games to be found in this version of the game, but if you want some additional bonus content like that, or if you're interested in bonus content like that, then yeah, just keep in mind that it's exclusive to the itch.io version of the game. You won't be able to access that content if you decide to purchase the game on Steam. And if you want to know how much this game costs on Steam, it costs about $8, and I think that's also the same price that it costs on itch.io. The iOS and Android version, on the other hand, I think is a little bit cheaper, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't remember the exact price of it. I think it was only like $3, maybe? I don't fully remember, but it is available on more than one platform, so if you want to get it on either mobile or PC, you have all those options there. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video here for now, guys. Thanks as always.
always for watching. I'll see you in the next video I make, and I promise that I'm not going to take another freaking two-week break from making videos and not tell you guys about it. I'm not taking another break from making videos. I'm actually going to try and get back into doing them at least once a week again, except this time, you know, while I'm self-isolating, I think I'm actually going to try and get them out a little bit more often than just once a week, so be on the lookout for that. I'm going to try and put videos out a little bit more often throughout the month of April. The double feature for this month will still be arriving, of course, and I do already have an idea as to what I want to cover for that particular video, but I'm not going to talk about any of that for now, so until then, thanks as always for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay indoors most importantly. Please do your part to try and flatten the curve so that way we can get this pandemic over and done with as soon as possible, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video I make. Later.